Is the Pope's headgear really a symbol of pagan worship? Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to explore a fascinating and controversial topic. The connection between the Pope's mitre hat and the ancient god Dagon. Is the Pope's headgear really a symbol of pagan worship or is it a harmless tradition with a Christian meaning? Let's find out. You might wonder who Dagon was and why we would like to find out if there is a connection to be found between Catholicism and pagan worship. Dagon was a Philistine god mentioned in the Bible. In 1 Samuel 5 2-5, it is written that the Philistines took the Ark of God and brought it to the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. Later on, when they returned to the temple of Dagon, they found that the statue of Dagon had fallen on its face before the Ark of the Lord. What is a mitre hat, you might ask? The mitre hat is a ceremonial headgear worn by the Pope and other bishops of the Roman Catholic Church. It has a pointed shape and a split top that resembles an open fish mouth. Some sources claim that the mitre hat is derived from the ancient pagan worship of Dagon, a god of fertility, agriculture, and fish in Mesopotamia and Canaan. Dagon was often depicted as half-man, half-fish, or wearing a fish-shaped headdress. The earliest evidence of Dagon worship dates back to around 2500 BC in Syria and Mesopotamia. He was regarded as the father of gods and the lord of the land. He was also associated with rain, grain, and prosperity. Dagon was also worshipped by the Philistines, who were enemies of the Israelites in the Bible. The Philistines had temples dedicated to Dagon in Gaza and Ashdod. According to the Bible, Samson destroyed the temple of Dagon in Gaza by pulling down its pillars. The connection between the mitre hat and Dagon is based on speculation and interpretation of ancient images and texts. There is no conclusive proof that the Catholic Church adopted the mitre hat from Dagon worship. The official explanation of the Church is that the mitre hat represents the tongues of fire that descended on the Apostles at Pentecost. However, some critics argue that the mitre hat is a sign of syncretism and apostasy and that it reveals the hidden pagan origins of Catholicism. They claim that the Church has corrupted the true faith and replaced it with idolatry and false doctrines. So, who is right and who is wrong? Is the Pope's mitre hat a harmless tradition or a sinister symbol? Well, that depends on your perspective and beliefs. There is no definitive answer to this question, only opinions and arguments. What do you think? Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave your comments below. What do you think about this topic? Do you believe there is a connection between the Pope's mitre hat and Dagon? Why or why not? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.